Scorpio, welcome to your soulmate karma love reading. And in this reading, we are looking at what are some of the things that may have happened in previous lifetimes? What have you brought into this lifetime? How does some interaction, you know, with your people, um, how does that play out? How does that affect love? Um, so we're going to take a look at that and see where you can make some changes so that you can get that beautiful love that you are fully worthy of. Now, please remember, this is a general reading with Major Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. If it's your first time here, I'd like to welcome you. And if you are coming back, I'd like to welcome you back. If you are not yet subscribed, I hope that you would consider subscribing to the channel. Please remember, this reading is general, so take care as it resonates. If any of you are interested in card reading or spiritual development, do check out my courses down below in the description the links for it um, the first couple of lessons are free so you can make up your mind whether I'm the right coach for you or not so when we're looking at soulmate love when we're looking at karma look at what you've got coming up my beautiful Scorpios the law of attraction and the angels are saying to you that each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends so invest wisely be very careful how you think about um, you know maybe somebody who hurt you because in the same way that you know that that a thought can instantly bring good stuff it can also instantly bring bad stuff you know and if somebody did hurt you we don't always know people's reasons for why they do what they do you know um, so don't let it disadvantage you you have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love peace and harmony at your request, we the angels will gladly attune your energies to higher frequencies. And the highest frequency that you can ever attune your energy to is love, because you are love. You are a universal being of love, love, life. So um, first and foremost, before we even look at anybody else, before we even look at a connection, before we look at any of those things, Scorpio, First and foremost, your main priority that you want is to remind yourself, go look in the mirror and look in your own eyes and remind yourself that you are the universe expressing itself in human form. You know, you are of the highest good. You are a creation of love. You are basically a spokesperson for the universe, you know, um, for higher possibility. So let's see what we've got going on here for you, my dearies. Um, so in these cards, I'm only looking at the, at the top line and it says have faith and we're looking at your north note here and your north note is that highest potential of life that we can reach, you know, in a life basically, you know, like your greatest potential, highest potential of who you can be and of what you can be. Um, so have faith in your goals, my absolutely beautiful, my beautiful Scorpios. Have faith in your goals. Know that your goals are possible. It feels like you've lost yourself a little bit in love, possibly before. Um, and it says, as in life or death, as a life or death issue. Your goals are important, very important right now. All right. Major changes coming about for you. So first of all, looking in this North Node energy. Have you been settling in love? Have you been, um, my beautiful Scorpios, you know, interacting with someone that is not, I won't say they're a bad person. They just, maybe just not the best person for you. Or has the right person somehow slipped through your fingers? Because that is what I get for a lot of you over here. Where um, either you got scared, they got scared. Maybe somebody sabotaged things over here. And now it feels a little bit like there's an ocean between the two of you. Okay, um, but I can see that you are set on being with this person, like you want to be with this person like nobody's business here with this Capricorn energy, especially that is coming up here, which is all about reputation and status, you know, and the things in life that really work for you. I see you being very set on a certain love here. On a, and, and, and here's the thing, it might be the person or it might just be what the person represents. So you want to ask yourself that as well. Do you specifically want to be with this person? You want to get this clarity. You want to make this distinction. Do you necessarily want to be specifically with that person? Or do you want to be with what that person offers? For a lot of you, I feel that it is that you want to be with that person. But you get to decide. All right. And it's serious business. 
Okay, it's really, really serious business here because I do feel that for many of you, the reason why you're feeling such a strong draw and pull to a person is because that is your person, that is your soulmate, that is the person that you are fated to be with. And, you know, very well-meaning friends and, and, you know, other people, family members, whoever, they will say, listen, Scorpio, let that person go. Let them go. If they don't want to be with you, let them go. Let them bounce. Um... And yes, that might be the right thing for them, but is it the right thing for you? And only you can really answer that question, okay? Only you can answer that question. Let's look at the highest potential because I feel that for many of you, you are dealing with your person here, even though things are feeling the furthest thing from smooth, all right? And something to remember, my beautiful Scorpios, is that when we deal with our person, things are typically not feeling that smooth. Okay, the world wanted to go a little bit in reverse there, but then it popped up on the upright side again. So the world, the two of ones, and your strength energy over there. So with the world, we are looking at Saturn energy, restrictions and knowledge. All right. It's time to let all the old go. It's, it's almost like you want to really open yourself to the idea that you can be with someone that is really up there, really top notch, really tick those boxes. All right. And I'm not talking about money or anything like that. Yeah, I'm talking about that soul connection, my beautiful Scorpios. That person that just somehow, you don't know how they do it, but somehow, you know, they may be annoying the shit out of you sometimes. But when you're not with them, it's, it's like things are not feeling right and life isn't going right because it's like a part of you is missing. You're meant to walk this path of life together. And it's a high level commitment for you and this person. And you may not know how you're going to make it work. I don't know. It feels like there's a lot of challenges in there. You may not know how exactly you're going to make it work with this person. But if you can open yourself to the idea that they are your person first and foremost, that you want to be with them and you are open to being with them, there's a lot of healing that they can help you bring about in your heart. In actual fact, you are. I feel that... It's like you are dealing with a person that's your person, but somehow you are not communicating, not connecting. So I don't know if you're fighting or ghosting each other or like what is going on here. But um, and it's everything inside of you is screaming. You're like, you know what? Ah, ah, no, 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 no. Done with you. Goodbye. You know? You don't want to honor my highest good goodbye. You want to be very careful for that Scorpio stubbornness that can sometimes come about here for you because there's a good chance for you to make it work with this person. Very good chance. But it does require that maybe, um, I want to go so far as to say that you almost like need to grovel a little bit. Okay? You need to let them know in, in, in a sense that you got to let them know, listen, I want to be with you. If you don't, you might end up regretting it. Okay, let's clarify your goals over here in love. The High Priestess, the Hermit, and the Three of Cups. Call upon your angels for help. Call upon your soul family for help. All right, it seems like it's a little bit difficult for you to do things on your own here. But there's something inside of you that says to you that this is your person. And you wake up and you're thinking about this person. And you're like, why am I even thinking about you? I don't want to be thinking about you. I don't want to have you in my mind. But the high priestess is all about the moon. It's about emotions. It's about um, those deep emotions. It's about the needs that you have. And the hermit is about giving yourself a break. This, this not being to put this person, is it's placing stress on your body. So on the other end, also make sure that you don't sort of get sick as a result of this. Um, but if you're not with this person, I just don't see it working for you. All right. Because it ticks all the boxes. They are like, they, they bring you that dynamic of soul family that your heart has been desiring. All right. Um, it's a soul family connection this person that you are dealing with and you know what soul family connections are normally more challenging than others especially when you know a lot of times as we have we have somebody who's maybe like a runner okay and it's easy to say the other person's the runner but sometimes you realize to our great surprise that it's us or you might be dealing with someone that maybe they're running and now because they're running you're running you know um, so you might also be activating each other in those negative ways because with a soulmate connection, you connect each, you, you um, sort of like activate each other positively, but you also activate each other negatively. All right. 
because this person is your greatest love and your greatest sort of um, challenge, really. Okay, it's like your greatest love challenge, really, that you're dealing with, yeah. And that makes you know that it's real. If you can just cut someone off and you can be fine with that, then chances are that's not really your person. They might be a good candidate for love, but if you are able to cut someone off and just move past there or they cut you off and you're okay with that, then they weren't really your person, okay? Um, for that eight house energy, we've got the King of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Knight of Swords, okay? You know they're yours, you, they know they're yours. They, you both know. But you're also dealing with quite a stubborn individual here. An individual that's going to be like, well, if they want me, then they've got to say something. And I promise you when I tell you this, they're going to stick to those guns. Okay? And it seems like somehow you hurt this person. Somehow you really hurt them. Maybe you were a bit careless with your words or your actions, I don't know. But somehow you hurt them. And I want to tell you this now already, Scorpio. If you're going to go back to this person and you're going to apologize, you're going to say, but you see what I also want to let you know is this is how you make me feel. Don't bother apologizing. Okay? Because that person may just blow up in your face and they might remind you of some things that you may not want to be reminded of. Even if you move past those things. Okay? Um, so, yeah, there's a second chance. There's definitely a second chance. But you're dealing with someone that they want to be sure that, listen, you're open in clarity and they want to know that you are choosing them. That's what you need to make very clear through your words and your actions. Words alone isn't going to cut it, but it's where you want to start. Okay? So you're going to have to come with them with the plan. Listen, this is what I want. This is how I want to be with you. This is my plan for that. If you're just going to say, listen, I like you. I want to be with you. Not going to work. Okay? Let's see what the Moonology Energy has got to say for you. My beautiful Scorpios. And if you're open to being with your person with this higher connection, then open your heart, mind, and soul to it. Open your heart. Place your hand on your heart. Take a nice deep breath and claim it for yourself. The super moon. Emotions are running high. Sometimes when you really miss someone and your heart feels all broken and stuff like that, you may say, oh, it's okay, I'll get over it. But that can be an indication that you are dealing with a person that is actually your person. Do you really, here's the question, do you really want to let the person who's your person, do you want to let them go because of, you know, pride and stuff like that? Okay? Only you can answer that question, my beautiful Scorpio. This is what I got for you. I hope that it helps. I will see you next week. Namaste, love and light. Bye.